So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take an image like this and transform it into this. Now right off the bat, you're probably thinking, well, that wasn't too much of a transformation. It's just a simple flame method. Well, not exactly. I had to use a few different flash techniques in order to get a clean white ceiling and stay around to the end. So when I do my final bump on my final edit of this image, I'll show you a really cool technique to make sure that you're getting proper black uh, point, proper white point, proper exposure, all that stuff with just one push of a button. So let's get into it. All right, here we are in Lightroom with that first ambient layer, and you are going to notice some ceiling fan shadows already because I did pop a flash, and I am using the Godox MLCD15 Soft Diffusion Dome on my uh, Godox V1 flash, and I did pop that flash off. I hold it just above the camera, just out of the frame of the camera. That way the light spreads evenly. And yes, you still we are still getting shadows around that ceiling fan, but I'm going to show you in this tutorial on how to correct for that. So the next flash pop that I did was I drop or I increased that shutter speed to expose for the windows, and then I popped a flash. You can see the hot spot of the flash in there. And again, I'm just literally holding it out in front of the camera, just out of frame. So I bring the flash into frame and then raise it up until I can't see it in my in my camera view anymore and then I pop that flash that keeps the light even across that entire ceiling and yes we are going to fix these shadows right here so what I do is I come into the room and look at how I'm holding it I'm holding it low so we get nice even spread but now we have a shadow on this side so what I'm gonna do is try to move around the room to cover for this shadow and so I walked over to here and we popped a flash actually over here on this side and you could see where that would just about do it except for this little bit of shadow right here and we could probably fix that in Photoshop and I'll show you because sometimes you can try to walk all the way around the fan uh, the fan and the blades are just going to cast shadows that are going to overlap no matter what you do. All right, and so then I walked over on this side of the room, and again, I don't know, that will probably fix it for that little bit of shadow. So we can use those three or four images, and what was this one? Then I came over to this side just to be safe, and again, we are still overlapping right there at the top, so we're not gonna be able to use this one. So we don't even need that one, so we're looking to highlight these and bring these into Photoshop. Okay, so once all the layers have been loaded into Photoshop, here's like, pretty much the simplest way I found in order to walk through this. First, we need to get to those flash images to build our ceiling only first. So that's what we want to do. So we can toggle this one off because this is just our quote unquote ambient layer that we're going to be able to fix. Pretend we already had a ceiling, ex perfect ceiling exposure. We could just mask that in or brush that in right here and then fix it for our windows too. So we don't need this one right now, so let's toggle that off. This one we're not going to use. Um, we might be able to use this for our window or our overall exposure for the flash, but we're not going to use it right now, so let's toggle that off. So we can focus on this image, this image, and this image to fix that little bit of shadow up here in the corner. If you look right here, if I toggle this one off, we can fix that with this one. Okay. So let's go back up here to this one. So what we can do is right now, let's select a layer mask, command I to invert and make sure white is selected, paintbrush tool. And I'm going to put my flow at 5%. And now we're just going to brush in where those shadows are to get rid of the shadows. And again, you don't have to be perfect. Don't worry about the wall. If you spill over on the wall, that's fine. We just got to get rid of those shadows on this side of the ceiling, on this side of the ceiling fan. And you want to try to make it look as even as possible. And if you do want to, just for sake, we could just take and cover that, uh, the wall right there, just try to blend that back in. All right, so now we're dealing with this little piece up here. We're just going to move the bottom one up to here. That's where we're going to fix that. Do a layer mask, command I to invert, and command uh, plus to zoom in. 
and let's make our brush smaller by taking the left bracket and we're just going to start painting back in right here no nope, so we're just left with a little bit of overlap right here is that going to take it out of there no nope. what, what what about this one this one might work so we can do layer mask command i to invert white selected and then just paint that in right there and a little bit more okay now let's command minus to zoom back out so we have a nice clean ceiling so what we can do what's left over is our ambient layer we can use this actually you know what we can do also is take one of these masks right here and then just paint over this to remove that so if we're looking here minus the ambient layer we have a nice window pull here can we eliminate any more of these shadows that are on the around the window we want to try to make this eh. I don't know if that really worked and again this is not for every single listing or every single scenario and we can actually get rid of these shadows with the ambient layer but we want to try to make it blend as easy as possible when we paint back in this image right here over top of our ambient layer I hope that makes sense all right so now what we can do is simply toggle back on our ambient layer do a, another layer mask command I to invert and actually to make this easier what I like to do is undo that so now what we can do is we have our ambient layer exposed but we have the white layer mask showing and we can make black selected and the reason I like doing this is because now all we can do is paint back in where we want the flash the corrected image and so we're just gonna paint get rid of those shadows because I love natural light so we can just paint over this window get that window view coming back through and that way we can subtly paint back in where that flash was underneath darken that TV screen up a little bit get rid of some of that glare underneath maybe reduce some of the shine on the bed like that but we want to be careful that we don't start introducing unnatural shadows from the flash layer that's why you've, your flash layer underneath should be about as clean as possible and we'll just go back over the ceiling because we know we had a nice clean white ceiling to work with with that flash layer and there we go not every situation is going to end up being like that but if you have a trouble room where you just can't seem to get a good clean ceiling or if the for example like in this situation the light coming through was creating haze around this ceiling fan and you just want a nice clean ceiling in a ceiling fan view like that just pop your flashes and keep going around the room trying to eliminate shadows you create a shadow and then you try to eliminate that shadow with another flash and just remember holding that flash lower see we just eliminate those shadows and then introduce ambient back in all right so that's what I wanted to teach in this tutorial let's flatten this image and bring it back into Lightroom I'm going to show you another trick okay so every time I come back into Lightroom I always do my interior final bump right here but if you want to try to figure out okay where where should and you know where should my black slider be where should my white slider be what about the shadows highlights this section right here you want to try to get as close to perfect as possible it's just gonna make that way you know every image is gonna be consistent exposure wise across the board so here's a really cool trick you can hold down shift and then just double click the black slider come up here to whites double click the whites it's gonna put it where right where it starts to clip so if you hold down option and then just start dragging it see right there where it starts to clip 
that's where it's going to let off. Same with shadows. Hold down shift, double click to shadows, double click highlights, double click contrast, double click exposure. And that's usually where I leave it. I'm going to try the blacks again. There we go. It didn't quite do it. You got to make sure you're double clicking on it, otherwise it won't move it. So I typically leave it right there. Sometimes I'll come back up here and bump the contrast just a little bit more or the blacks a little bit more, depending on what I prefer. But again, rule of thumb, watch that histogram. Make sure you're right of center and you're gonna know you're gonna have a nice even exposure. If every image that you're delivering has the same looking histogram, then you know they're gonna be consistent, not ones too dark or too bright. Because you gotta remember, if you're going based off the brightness of your screen, that can be deceiving and then Especially if you're doing prints, you can, if you're using a bright screen, you might underexpose a lot of these images. And then when you print these images, I know this isn't for real estate, but I'm just saying this from experience. If you, if your images are too dark, obviously it's going to show up when your prints, as opposed to on a screen, it might look bright enough. So that's why sometimes the, the brightness of the screen can be deceiving. So make sure you're following that rule of the histogram. Leave me a thumbs up. That lets YouTube know that you like this video and it helped you out. If it did help you out, hit that subscribe button. I have tutorials coming out all the time. Thanks for watching.